How many people saw this horrifying vote yesterday in Congress where every single Republican voted to protect white supremacists and Nazis? Yup, we saw it. The House passed, thankfully, an amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act just to make government officials prepare a report on how to combat white supremacists and neo-Nazis in police and in the military. And just to tell us when they find people who are one of those things. And, I mean, at least, thankfully, something as easy as this had bipartisan support. Wait, what? On a party line vote, Democrats voted to pass legislation that would require reporting of white supremacists in the U.S. military. Republicans unanimously opposed. And to be clear, this was a standalone amendment simply requiring the military and law enforcement to report if they find a white supremacist in their midst. Every single Republican voted against the measure. Let me break down more detail what it is. Very simple. Very benign, except in the way that it's not benign in stopping extremist activity in, in our own ranks, in our nation, in the people that protect us. The Schneider Amendment called for the total number of people who were discharged from the military or police because of their links to or support for far-right extremism to be published. Just tell us the numbers of people that they're finding. And for the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and Secretary of Defense to publish a report that sets out ways to combat white supremacist and neo-Nazi activity in our uniform services and law enforcement agencies. That's it. Nothing controversial here. There's nothing that you might need to ponder and say, well, I know there's some good parts to it, but some aren't. No, this was a stand-alone amendment. Just saying, is it okay if we add that they report when there's white supremacists and neo-Nazis? And all 208 votes against it came from House Republicans. Not one Republican voted for it. And they described it, one described it as Orwellian. Just because you know a word doesn't mean you can use it. Orwell, are you referring to 1984, the book where the government becomes too restrictive on what you do and say? Yeah, that was for innocent people who weren't part of groups that are domestic terrorist organizations. Uh, so that's different. Okay. Schneider, of course, the sponsor of this bill, noted how the U.S. has seen a surge in domestic extremist incidents, as reported by Newsweek, uh, including, of course, the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, and the mass shooting at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh in 2018. Uh, and something that used to be not controversial in this country was being against Nazis. I don't know how we lost our way on that one. My family, much of my family, was murdered by the Nazis during the Holocaust. We used to be pretty united on being against them as a nation and having stopped them. And uh, now we think it's a little too much government overreach to say if we find them in the military, we should know about it. You can understand, though, of course, why Republicans are not standing against this. This is their voter base. But when you support a voter base that endorses such horrible, abhorrent, beliefs and you protect them it's not just your voter base anymore it's also you it's you all 208 republican members of congress rep pete aguilar democrat from california a member of the defense appropriation subcommittee years ago said this quote what the report made clear is that white supremacists are using our military to further their hateful and violent agenda and pentagon guidance currently does not allow people to actively participate in extremist groups like that or publicly advocate those views, but even belonging to groups like that, even belonging to white supremacist groups is not explicitly against the rules. So how about this? Could we also make that against the rules? Can we possibly just at least have some line in this nation that we agree on between good and evil? Is that too much to ask? Literally, it's 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 the the polar opposite cataclysmic sides that have been there from day one. You're, you're, you're into the Bible. It's the whole story of the Bible. Good is, is, is what is rewarded and you go to heaven, right? And then evil is what's punished and you go to hell and God does mean stuff to you, right? And turns you into stone and makes you, I don't know, kill your family members. He does a lot of messed up stuff if you're not a good dude. So can we, can we at least just obvious evil be on the same page? Or do you not want a country at all anymore? I'm too frustrated to share any more of my own thoughts. So let me just end this with a few comments that I saw in a Newsweek article about this. Newsweek, not particularly a very liberal rag these days. Uh, 
A man named A. Dillinger said, Too many of those we rely on for protection, the most heavily armed among us, are pointing their weapons at us. These are the people empowered to make judgments about whom to detain and whom to kill. Together with an extremist court, state legislatures overtly imposing gerrymandering, that means carving districts so black people can't vote in elections and that their vote doesn't count as much, growing voter suppression, and states even dictating how history should be taught. The U.S. government is continuing its slide down into fascism. Very, very dark days. I'd say he's exaggerating, but that is how it feels. That's the reality of what Repu these Republicans in power are doing every day. At Shadow Band on Fox, solid handle name, said, the GOP is not going to hassle their ad hoc militia wing. And it's a strong point because not only is this their voter base, but I guess it's their toter base, their gun toter base, right? Because that's that well-regulated militia that the Constitution supports so strongly. And so I guess they want to put it together so they can have a bunch of white supremacists running around with tiki torches? I used to like tiki torches. They make it for a nice backyard vibe. Not anymore. And a man just going by Tom said, the GOP continues its march to the right. And a man named Billy Smith replied, more like a sprint these days. I don't know what to tell you. Running's good for you. It's healthy to exercise. I got nothing. We just, I just know this needs to stop. We need to figure out a way to all get together and stop this from becoming what comes of our country. Because that's not the America that any of us like. I mean, except for the ones that like the racist white supremacists. They're pretty happy about it. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. You can check out my Showtime stand-up special, Neurotic Gangster, on Amazon Prime or YouTube. And my brand new stand-up special drops next month on YouTube. Stay tuned for that. And follow me on all socials, at Ben Glebe. I'm posting on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube five videos a week, including lots of stand-up where I make fun of people in the audience for being very stupid. Thanks.